Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to scratch multiple volumes and their data sets in batch using Control M tapes, CTT, RTM utility. Okay, here we are at the IOA main menu. And I take it you already have a list of volumes that you want to work with or need to scratch. And the first thing you're going to want to do is let's go create a, a new rule in order to handle those uh, volumes. So you go into the TR option, new rules library. Now I've created a table called recalc. And in this table, I have a rule called recalc. Now this rule that you're going to need to create, it's going to be an on data set rule. And it's going to say equals asterisk. And that's so that all the data sets on your volumes will be included. Um, there may be a single data set on a single volume, or there may be multiple files or data sets on these tapes. And we want to make sure we include all of them. And you'll come down here to do retention, you're going to set your retention criteria. Now that could be uh, today's date, or that could be uh, MBS catalog, or whatever it is you want to set your retention to. But for scratching purposes, we're going to set it to today's date, which is June 21st, year 2016. So once you create this rule, and we're going to go ahead and you save it. And you don't have to load this out into Control T's memory. You just leave it out there. <clears throat> so that way it's not going to affect any production jobs that are currently running or may run. Okay, now once we get our rule set, now let's go take a look at our IOA proc library. And in that proc library, we're going to take a look at the CTT RTM proc. In your IOA proc lab. And the CCT RTM. And what I've done is I went ahead and now by default, this executes. No, that's in the JCL. By default, this is going to take a look for your rules, it's going to take a look in your rule list member of your control T Parm library. And we're not going to be using that one. So I've gone ahead and created a CTTRTM1 proc. And I've changed that to use uh, rule list one. And in my rule list one, it's going to point to our same control T rules library. And it's going to point to the recalc table so it's going to know which rule to pull from okay now let's go take a look at so once you make a copy make that change to your rules list and you will have to make a rule list one member and we'll go take a look at that it's in your ctt parm library standard rule list and we're, here's our copy here's your rule list library here's the recalc table that we created and you got your order statement but you're not going to be ordering it but that's required okay so that's set and then now let's go ahead and take a look at the ctt rtm jcl member which is going to be in your Control T JCL library. And again, by default, you have one in there called CTTRTM. I made a copy of it and called it CTTRTM1.
Now what I've changed here is I've changed it to execute the CTT RTM1 proc. So it's going to be pointing to our rule list one uh, DA rule list library. Okay, now in here, we're going to change um, the type of retention to recalc because we're going to recalculate the current retention period. And based on our rule, we're going to set that today to today's date, even if they were permanent retention, MBS catalog retention, it's going to recalculate that and set those volumes, uh, the ones we have include statements for, it's going to reset those to uh, today's date and go ahead and scratch them. Now you can run this in uh, type, type run mode equals normal, or you can run it in simulation just to make sure everything looks good. Once your simulation looks good, then you can go ahead and rerun it in normal uh, mode. Now let's take a look before we run this. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the TI screen. And here's our tapes that we have include statements for. And you can see that they're all currently active. Now this EXT over here that I have, that's only because I checked them in uh, externally as external tapes. But nonetheless, they're still active. So let's get out of here, go back into our JCO library. And we'll pull up the CTTRTM1 job that we were looking at. And here's our includes. And that way, when this runs, it's only going to recalculate those specific volumes. Now, even if you had 500 tapes that you wanted to do this with, you'd have to have 500 includes. So let's go ahead and submit this. Take a look at it in SDSF. And you can see that it ran with zero return codes. Now we'll go back into our TI screen and verify that the tapes are in fact in scratch status. Here we have our volumes in scratch status. And if you select one of these, you'll see that their data sets are also in scratch status. Okay, thank you for your time. And the workload automation support team looks forward to uh, helping you should you need our assistance and I hope this video was of some help.